Ah, brownies. The bacon of the dessert world. Almost anything tastes better in a brownie. Chocolate chips, marshmallows, peanut butter walnuts, chocolate peanut butter cups. The list is endless. Brownies are great for holidays, celebrations, and any time some warm chocolatey goodness would make someone feel better. Here's what you'll need. Sugar. Flour. Coconut oil. Cocoa powder. Butter. Eggs. Vanilla extract. Chocolate chips. Cinnamon. Also need salt and Pam. A large mixing bowl. A spatula. A whisk. One cup. One half cup. One eighth cup. One teaspoon. A quarter teaspoon. A baking pan. Parchment paper. Preheat your oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Then prepare your baking pan. Fold the parchment paper so it fits smoothly in the bottom of the pan. Spray the parchment paper and pan with cooking spray. Add one stick of butter. Add one half cup of chocolate chips. Add one cup of sugar. Add about three quarters cup of cocoa powder. Now place in the microwave on high for about a minute and a half until the butter is fully melted and even boiling. Begin whisking the ingredients together, trying to wet out all the dry ingredients. At this point, it will be very thick and grainy. That's normal. Now we add 1 8 cup of coconut oil. Any oil will work. It adds moistness to the brownie. Now we begin adding the eggs. This is an important step as it helps to integrate the brownie into batter form. We want to add the eggs one at a time and make sure it's blended in very, very well before we add the next one. And now you can see we have a very smooth batter. Add two teaspoons of vanilla extract and mix. This is the last opportunity to mix the liquid batter thoroughly before the addition of the dry ingredients, so give it your all. On to the dry ingredients. Measure out one half cup of flour. Measure out and use anywhere from one half to two tablespoons of cinnamon. Add one quarter teaspoon salt and mix. Add the dry ingredients to the brownie batter. You've seen the spatula. Fold the dry ingredients into the wet. You don't want to mix too much or too vigorously because then you will not get the fudgy brownie consistency you want. This would also be a good time to fold in some peanut butter or marshmallow fluff. Pour the brownie batter into the prepared baking pan. Now it's time to decorate the brownies. I'm using marshmallows and chocolate chips. Now it's ready to go into the oven for 30 minutes. You'll know your brownies are done when they're soft in the middle but not runny. Take them out and allow them to cool for 15 minutes. Release the brownies from the side of the pan with a knife. Then lift the brownies out onto a plate. Cut and enjoy. Mmm. Moist, delicious, fudgy brownies.